Yo, what's up guys, and welcome along to my favourite players from FIFA 18. So this is just, just my uh, top 20 favourite players from the game. I thought I'd do this because um, FIFA 19 is not too long away. Um, so yeah, I'm not really playing FIFA 18 much anymore. So yeah, let's just jump into my top 20 favourite players. Right, so going into my top 20 favourite players, uh, number 20 position is Nicholas Saul, who obviously is the best red card I've ever got. That's pretty much why he's here. I've tried him out and he's a very good card, to be fair. Yeah, uh, moving on to number 19, we've got Kylian and Mbappe, who around like January and February is one of my favourite players. I used to have a strike foot force of him and Alessandrini, and he was literally so lethal for of goal. It was a great pace, and I think he's one of the best, going to be one of the best players of FIFA 19 in my opinion. Going on to eight, 18th position, we've got Alexander Lacazette, who's obviously had a bit of a downgrade, especially on his pace of FIFA 19, but he had a great card. I had his loan, I can see, and he had him in informal haze, he was up top and he was a really good player. Down to 17, we've got um, Thomas Mounier, who I play a lot of games with as a super sub. I sub them on at centre mid usually. He scored some like important goals of foot champions. I'm pretty sure he scored like an equaliser in the last minute, and I went on to um, and this is an extra time I went on to win on penalties. So he's been a really helpful player. Obviously, does such well around the stats. I couldn't play my right back; I'd be a waste. So I moved him in game to uh, centre mid. Number 16, I've got Bagovic. Um, pretty much the goalkeeper I used throughout the whole of the game. As you can see, I've got his footies uh, winner card. Um, it was a great goalkeeper. I had the same with feet trait, which was so overpowered on the game. Because it was the only thing that could stop low driven shots, really. In the position, we had Sadio Mane. Um, I used him towards the end of the game. Um, I was right partnership with Firmino, and he was a really good player. I also used him early on in the game, and he was a very clinical finisher. Very reliable. In front of goal. And in 14th position, we've got Marco Royce, who's always great at FIFA. That was no different this year. Uh, obviously he had a great card, 4 star, 4 star, and I'm pretty sure I play him at left striker and he uh, scored a lot of goals in around like February and March time for me. Uh, 13th position we've got uh, El Chucky Lozano, or Hervin Lozano, obviously probably the most overpowered player in FIFA 18. I had his footies winner card towards the end of the game. Uh, uh, he probably scored one of the most, got one of the best goal scoring records for me. He had like, literally 1.2 goals per game before I dropped him to the bench. Yeah, really fun player to use, and I'm expecting him to go to be pretty overpowered in FIFA 19 as well. Um, in top position, we've got Medi Benatia, who was one of my favourite defenders in the game. Medium high work rates, was really well good on the ball, and always, always seemed to be in the right position to make tackles. And he was one of the main reasons why I managed to get goal free. Him and company formed a great defensive partnership at the back. In left position, we've got Wilfred Zaha, who was one of my favourite players around I don't know, July time. He scored a lot of goals for me. You can see, um, could had a good record, and uh, obviously he did get replaced in, in the end, but he was a great player whilst I had him. Uh, number 10 position, we have Yaya Torre, who has played the most ever games for me on an ultimate team, 550. He's missed, Mr. Consistent. He had an absolute rocket off a right foot and left foot on him sometimes. He scored one of the best goals I've ever scored. Uh, in, I think it's in one of my foot champions' best goals videos. Probably leave a link to that in the eye button. But yeah, really well rounded, strong, uh, good on the ball. And uh, unfortunately, FIFA 19 is not going to be quite so good. He's had a big downgrade, but uh, he's a bit of a legend, isn't he? Number nine position, we've got Ginny Wijnaldum. He's one of the most hard-working players in real life and on the game as well. Obviously, high, high work rates. He wasn't really like the sort of player who you could like say he's necessarily good at one thing, but he just worked so hard. He was a really a real workhorse, and he did chip him with a few goals and assists. To be fair, a really fun and enjoyable player that you know any person would be happy to use. Really, uh, eight position, eight position, we've got uh, Hilman Son. I would say he used pretty much every single special card he had, apart from the uh, striker card, because that was too expensive. But uh, yeah, his uh, team season was great when I used it. I did have to sell him in the end because it needs the coins, but a real good card. I would recommend using this on any FIFA, to be honest. Third position, we've got Gabriel Jesus, who are obviously a packed squad battle rewards in like, the second week, which is huge for me. Um, He's probably my favourite player for like four or five months. Uh, he had a great goal return for me when I did have a different version of this card. Obviously, a yeah, first owner, and yeah, real fun and draw player to use. In sixth position, we've got um, Michi Batshuayi. Uh, his one to watch card was one of the best strikers I've used. Really well rounded. Obviously, he's got good pace, shooting, physical, dribbling. You know, for a car of six at one, he was very agile, and he had a, he was really good in the air. Real fun and like just clinical goal scorer. Fifth position, we've got Robert Lewandowski, which is at, who is without a doubt the best like pack I've ever got. Obviously, in team season Bundesliga, I got him. Uh, he's got a load of goals to me, you know, that's what, like one point something goals per, uh, like, goal contribute, goal and assist goal contributions. Uh, in fourth position, we've got um, Leroy Sané, 
he was a great card, really pacey, one of the quickest players I've used, and his left foot shooting across goal was literally deadly, and he was really good in the air as well. Really fun player to use, he also secured me that some good we uh, finished in the weekend league. In third position we've got uh, Roberto Firmino, and um, I did really enjoy using his team season card. Obviously he's got like nine goal and six goal contributions in a Division 2 towards the end of the game, but it was his Path to Glory card that I used early in the game, that was my, which, which was my favourite. Just a really good clinical goal scorer. Second position we've got a bit of an odd one, we've got on, uh, on Yinye and Diddy, or well, Wilfred and Diddy. Um, he was a real, really good player. Uh, he was always in the right position, and I like to call him like a tall version of Kante, that's basically what he was. And yeah, he did chip him with a, like, a few good country, goal countries and stuff. And yeah, he was just he was always in the right position. And as if you've seen this FIFA 19 card, you, you know that this guy's going to be an absolute beast. He's literally very close to this card. I think he's going to be uh, he's basically a Bakayoko, in my opinion. And number, th number one position, it couldn't be anyone else, really, could it? Riyad Mahrez, my favourite player on any FIFA without a shadow of a doubt. This guy was just, just amazing. He had the, le the best left foot I've ever used. Like, I think it's better than Messi. I um, used Messi a few times on the kickoff and stuff. You, know, you just, why you do a Marvel? You just like, do like the no dri no touch, like no dribble, no uh, no sprint dribble. Which because he's got nice to uh, dribbling, defenders just couldn't stop him. And like leash his left foot, uh, finesse. It would go top corner every single time. This guy clutched up so many times for me in the week line towards the end of FIFA. And yeah. If there's one card I could take into the next FIFA, it would be this card. He's an absolute saviour. <laughs> but yeah, that was my uh, favourite players in FIFA. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, FIFA 9 is not long away now. So until then, adios.